you get a kid excited about science and what are you doing? You're giving them this way to ask questions and receive information in a very rational way about our world. And once you have that way of thinking, I promise you, you can't lose it. When the discussion started about the fossil park, it just created a fire, just a passion. This is something that uh, excited us. It was Ken Lacavera's excitement about this fossil park that just absolutely brought us into the project. We've been making great progress at the fossil park and we've been bringing in thousands of visitors, but quite honestly, we're up to capacity. And so when this opportunity came up, we didn't have to think long and hard about it. We knew that this was the right thing to do to make this investment in the university at this time. I am enormously excited and happy to tell you Rick and Jean Ederman have agreed to contribute $25 million gift to build one of the most impressive fossil parks in the east coast of the United States, and I would dare say in the entire world. The fossil park that we envision is going to be a world-class draw. People all across the United States and all across the planet are going to view this as a destination for their own discovery, their participation in the sciences, as well as their deep learning of the planet's history, which helps to inform where we came from and perhaps where we're going as well. Rick and Jean Edelman's generous gift is going to put the university at the forefront at the study of paleontology and it's really going to place this university and this community on the global map. And it's going to open the door for us to recruit the best minds to come to this institution and take this place to the next level of excellence. One of the motivations we had for funding the planetarium is because it fosters the desire among students to engage in science and engineering and STEM is vital to this. If we as a nation are going to remain competitive on a global economy, we have to support and foster and further develop the number of students we have involved in STEM education. We need to train more scientists, we need to train more engineers, and we need to provide pathways for students into the STEM fields. There's a lot of research that shows that two of the most predictive things that determine whether a student goes on to enjoy a career in the STEM disciplines are early exposure to the STEM disciplines and exposure to scientists. But we think this is going to be a very big draw, and that's our goal, is to make this as routine for high school and junior high and even elementary students to come to the Fossil Park as routinely as they would go to the Franklin Institute or the Smithsonian. We benefited immensely from our years as students at Glassboro State, now Rowan University, and we feel an obligation to give back. And this was such a special project. There, was, there would be nothing like it ever to come again. And so this was our time. It makes me feel so proud as the president that this university can produce citizens of that, that magnitude who can have such a generosity. They've set the standard now, and it's up to all of us to join together to make this place as great as it can possibly be. And I'm really excited about the challenge.